First off, uh, my hat's off to, to Kevin. And, you know, Kevin is one of the best guys and best coaches in college basketball. So he had a really good thing happen for him tonight. And so for that, I'm, I'm happy for Kevin. I've never been a part of a basketball game like that before. It's, it's, it's unexplainable. Raise your hand. We'll get the microphone. Unexplainable. Over. Right over here in the front row first. He, you know, he was fine. He, he's, he was well enough to play. So he banged his wrist. There's a lot of guys who are banged up. He's well enough to play. You know, he gets, uh, you know, he takes, a, he takes, boy, he takes punishment, man. He takes a lot of punishment. Um, but we're, we're going to have to just get him, get him through with all the bumps and bruises that he's endured, especially over the last few weeks. Second row right here. Coach, uh, what was the explanation they gave you for sending, ejecting Sakar? Uh, they said it was a second technical. What was unexplainable tonight? Did you watch the game? Yeah, I watched the one. Didn't know what your why you felt it was unexplainable. Uh, just uh, just so many unusual things happened. I, I don't know if I want to get into specifics, but it was the most un unusual unusual basketball game I've ever been a part of. And I feel bad for my kids. You know, they're in there, and they're just they're. Uh, they're sobbing, and I, I wish our kids would have had a chance to uh, decide the game, and their kids too. What would you think of the officiating? I don't, I, I don't, I don't judge officials. That's for you guys to decide. You know, that's uh, that's for you guys to decide. We'll go over here uh, to Jerry first. I'm sorry, coach. Uh, coach, with everything that happened throughout the game, how did you? Play it's hard for me to keep track of everything that happened, so. You're going to have to ask a more specific question because so many things happened in that game. Well, in regards to the stoppages. Yeah, it was really tough for us, you know, not having our two best defenders in the game. Uh, Sakar and Theo, you know, two of those guys are uh, all defensive level players. And it was hard for us, but I thought the other guys stepped up and, you know, we put ourselves in a position to win. Uh, we didn't make some plays that we, we you know, were capable of making. Um, and so down two guys. Uh, you know, and, and our two best defenders that, you know, our guys showed a lot of grit. So uh, that was good. That was, that was really, really good. Jerry? What, what, what would you say to your players and all the fans who were disgusted by the way that game ended, unfolded? Hey, we got more basketball to play. You know, we're going to the NCAA tournament. We got a chance to, we got a chance to do some things. So, hey, the game of basketball can be extraordinarily crazy. We all were in the gym tonight for an extraordinarily crazy game. And uh, uh, hats off to Seton Hall. You know, best of luck to them in the championship. We wish it was us. It's not. But we're going to the NCAA tournament. We're going to the NCAA tournament, and we're going to attack that. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, having a, a breath of fresh air uh, because we need it. We need it. Over on the right, Richard. Uh, Coach, you know, you're going to the NCAA tournament, you say, uh, do you put this, how do you put this completely behind you and any concerns about Howard and, and, and the bruises and the bumps? Nah, he's going to be fine. Mark's a hell of a player. He's bumped and bruised. He's been bumped and bruised all year. He'll just be fine. We've got to regroup and get better. So, and, and um, you know, and, and, you know, usually in the NCAA, they, they get back to the, the initial points of emphasis. So I think that'll help Marcus too. Anything else for Coach? One over right here in the front. It looked like there was some words exchanged in the uh, post-game handshake line. Do you want to share anything that was said? No. Coach, thanks.